Ah, oh, David, this is just brilliant. We're in the wonderful outdoors here and I'm so excited because it is springtime and there is life everywhere around us. What? Aren't you excited? No, no. What, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You, you told me we're supposed to be going adventuring. Absolutely. I thought we were supposed to be tracking tigers. Look, I've got all my gear on. Yeah. Looking for lions and sneaking up in snakes. Look where we are. Oh, no, no, no. This is even better than that. Because what we are looking at are things that start underground and then spring forth. It's amazing. Everything's dead. What are you How talking is that about? amazing? Look at it. It's all dead. Ah, I've got some lessons to teach you here, David. Oh, this is going to be good. This is so boring. I hope you can do better than this. Just you wait. I think we'll start over there. Okay. So, David. Yeah. Here we are with just this lump of soil. It's now, isn't it extraordinary? It's dirt. It is, well, it is dirt, you're right. But in this dirt is so much life, would you believe it? No, because there's absolutely nothing there. Look, it's dirt. There's a few stones, I'll give you the stones, but there's nothing in there, it's dead. But if we started digging into here, we would find earthworms, we would find centipedes, we would find beetles, we would find millipedes, we'd find all kinds of things. Okay, I'll give you that. That sounds quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just need to go a little bit under the ground to find all of that life. But not just that. All right, okay. Do you know when you get those things that grow up and they kind of white, sometimes different colours? You mean flowers and plants? Well, I was thinking about Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Yeah. Fungi. All right, right. So inside here, there'll be all kinds of fungi as well. And then you're right, seeds and bulbs. And they grow into flowers. Okay, okay. But it looks pretty dead to me. It does at the moment. But the potential for life is all there. Wow, okay, okay, I'll give you, it is more interesting than just dirt. There is life in there, I'll give you that. Even though it looks dead, there is life there. Amazing. Amazing, yes. So remember, we were talking about how you get seeds yep. or bulbs yep. that are, they lie dormant. So it means they're like asleep, almost like they're dead, yep. under the ground. Yep. And then at springtime, Look what happens. Yeah, they look beautiful. And you're right, they've come out of the dirt that looked so dead. So, yeah, definitely life in the middle of the dirt. Well done. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, the amazing. The colours are beautiful. These little tiny daffodils here, they are glorious. Brilliant. Absolutely spectacular. Spring flowers. Indeed. Spring life. Yep. Now, David, here, this is something quite wonderful. It's a dead tree. It was a dead tree, or at least it was a tree that was cut down. It's dead. You can see the old tree trunk, yep. what used to be there. It's dead. But look at all these things that are growing up out of it. Sticks. Well, they do look like sticks, but look at this. If we look really close at one of these, what do you see at the top? Oh. It looks like a, looks like a little bud. It's green, isn't it? It's green, yeah. You wow. see, it's starting to grow again. Wow. So even from something that looks like, well, nothing's going to come from that. Oh. New buds coming so from it. It was a tree that was dead, that somebody's just cut out, and somehow or other, there's new life growing from it. Brilliant, huh? That's pretty amazing. These are the miracles of springtime. Wow. That's pretty good. So. If these are the miracles of springtime, does that really mean what Easter's all about? Is that what Easter means, sort of new growth coming out of the ground and stuff? Well, it's part of the story, but it's not exactly that. Okay. So, Peter, you took me here. I got all dressed up in my adventure mm -hmm. gear, expecting to go looking for lions and tracking tigers and all of that. 
and you showed me dirt. Well, I showed you dirt, that is true, but dirt that was full of life. Yep, yep. And you showed me a dead tree. I did, but a tree that was budding with okay. new life. Okay. And you told me that all this new life is all about spring mm -hmm. and Easter. But, but you also said that, that Easter was more than just the stuff growing out the ground and the funny buds on the tree. So Easter is a brilliant story that we have within the church. And it's a story of new life. But sadly, it's also a story about death. Okay. It's about Jesus, who lived a wonderful life, telling people about God's love. Okay. And then some people didn't like that. They wanted to get rid of him, and they actually killed him. They put him into a tomb, like they buried him in the ground. Okay. But the amazing thing about the Easter story is that God was not going to let that be the final word. Okay. And so what did he do? I'm guessing new life. You got it. Just like the spring story, Jesus came from that tomb again. New life coming from the tomb. When everyone thought it was over, it started again. Okay. So Easter is a story all about new life, not just in the ground, but but all around us. And yeah, for it, all of us. It's a story that resonates with us, helps us to think about what are the new things that I can do in my life. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, and I think for all of the young ones mm -hmm. who are watching us today, that maybe this is something you could be thinking about in this spring season, to think about all the life you see around you and what you contribute to that life making things better for other people, bringing something joyful and wonderful into the world. That sounds like a really good Easter project. So you could do that over your Easter holidays, in between eating your Easter eggs, mm -hmm. but you can have a lovely Easter while doing that too. Fantastic. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the trip. Uh, well, yeah, I'm sorry I got a bit too dressed up for it and I'm missing my tigers, but all the new life is amazing. So thank you, Peter. No worries, David. Okay. We'll see you soon. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. And a happy Bye. Easter to all of you. Bye. Tiny little seed, watered by the rain, silently beginning on its journey. Tiny little shoot, peeping through the soil, putting down its roots in the garden. New life has begun, beauty yet to come. Just one tiny seed can change the garden. New life has begun, beauty yet to come. Just one tiny seed can change the garden. Tiny little bud, opening his leaves, reaching for the sunlight in the heavens. And the thorns have taken over 
such a cruel place hard to find a space no more little flower in the garden broken broken open Thank you.